Hey everyone, welcome back in another video of SQL Server interview question. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem from Facebook. Okay, so let's read our question. So our question reads, find the popularity percentage for each user on Meta or Facebook and the popularity percentage is defined as the total number of friends the user has divided by the total number of users on the platform. And then we need to convert it into percentage by multiplying it by 100 and we need to output each user along with their popularity percentage and we need to order records in ascending order by user id so uh, let's see our data first so we have two columns user 1 and user 2 so the user 1 and user 2 columns are pair of friends so let's write the sql query for this Okay, so first of all, what we need to do, is we have some users in user 1 and some users in user 2. So we need to bring all the users in one single column. So for that, we will create one CTE. So with all users as, okay, and what we will do here? We will do union of user 1 and user 2. Okay, so select star from Facebook friends okay and then we will do union select the star union select user user 2 as user 1 okay so what we will do we will bring all the values from the user 2 in user 1 and we are doing it union with our facebook friend table okay so select user 2 as user 1 and user 1 as user 2 from Facebook friends okay and we will order it by user one okay so let's run this code so now you can see that we have all the users in user 1 and you can see now we have some duplicate data as well. So we will take care of that. Okay, so what we need to do is, so we have already brought all the users in one single column. Now we need to find the popularity percentage and the formula for popularity percent is the total number of friends the user has divided by the total number of users on the platform. Okay. So for that we will write code select okay so we need user 1 so user 1 is nothing but our users which is our the first column select user 1 and then we need to find the popularity percentage so for that what we will do we will write count of user 2 okay count of user 2 and we need to divide it by total number of people who are in platform okay so for that we need to apply distinct okay so we'll write this slack count and we need to find the distinct user so distinct user 1 all users okay and we will give it an alias as clarity percentage so in order to make it percentage we will multiply it by 100. okay 100 into count of total users count of user to the total number of friends the user have divided by 
the total number of users in the platform. So for that we are applying the distinct. Yeah, okay. So we are selecting user one and then we calculated popularity percentage from all users. Okay, and now we need to group it by user one. So let's run our code. Okay, so we've got one error. Over here we forgot to add a bracket. Okay. Um, so we are getting zero here. So we need to convert this into float. So for that we will write cast. So we'll be using cast function here. Cast this as float. Okay, let's run this again. So now you can see we have got users and their percentage in popularity. Okay, so what we did here first. So if we see the actual data, let's start from Facebook friends. Okay, so here we we have some users in user one and uh, their friends in user two. So in order to bring all the users in one column, what we did, we did union all and uh, we selected user two as user one to bring these value into the user one and user one as user two to bring these values into the user two. After that, what we did, we just did the count of user two and divided that by distinct users in user one to get the popularity percentage for each user which is in user one. So let's run this code again. Now here you can see we have popularity percentage for each user. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.